Hey guys, it's Tony Tom Logan back with another video for you. The light's all a bit iffy at the moment because I've got it set up to be able to show you all the uh, gear. But basically this is for the uh, second rig that we're doing for Gadget Show Live that we're calling Snowdrift. Um, it's all based in the Cooler Master 690 white. Uh, this is going to be the water-cooled one. And the reason why we're calling it Snowdrift is obviously snow white, that bit's easy. And drift because we're actually going to have a Shift 2 on this live on the stand for you to come up and have a play with. Um, I think we're going to have, uh, as long as everything goes to plan, we're going to have it uh, being able to be played on a 27 inch monitor as well. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to come up and uh, either play with your mates or play against me. I'm open to at least get a go on shift two before we get going or, you know, go up there. So I'll have to try and get some practice in. But it'd be good to um, see if we can beat each other around Nürburgring or something like that. That could be quite cool. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the uh, bits now before we start anything. And at certain intervals, I'm going to try and get the camera out, excuse me, to show you the stuff going together and try and talk you through a little few bits of uh, putting the loop together and stuff like that. But we're going to have to see how it works out because obviously I'm recording this at the beginning and I don't know how it's going to work out as I try and get this done because obviously I am quite limited on time. But uh, yeah, without, uh, I need to shut up. I'm going to get you off the tripod now and uh, I will walk you around all the hardware. Right then guys, let's have a look at the kit. Uh, we're using a Crosshair 4 formula in this one. We're going for a kind of black and red theme. And then we've got the XFX 6970, which is a reference card, reference cooler on it, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to be uh, putting a water block on that anyway. Then we've got an AMD 1100T hex core, which we'll be overclocking. 8 gigabyte of uh, Mushkin Redline RAM. It's 1600 megahertz and it's 79824. Then we've got 128 gigabyte uh, Kingston um, V plus. Oh no, this is the V100, not the V plus. I do apologise. So it's the V100. We're also going to be putting a one terabyte solid state drive. Uh, I will get my words out. A one terabyte normal drive in there for storage. Um, and we're, uh, we're just putting that in because we're going to have audio for obviously the games when it's on the stand and also for after hours when I can listen to my music. Ha <laughs> uh, ha Corsair AX 850 watt power supply. And then we've got an Asus Zona. And this is the uh, 7.1 audio card. Um, and it's basically, yeah, it's one of the open ones. There's no cover or anything on it. But... We have lots of water cooling goodies as well. Uh, the fans I've chosen for the whole case are these. They're Phobia water cool, uh, water cooled, waterproof fans, and literally I've got a box of them. Um, so we're going to be changing all of them, and they're uh, shiny black frames. You can see, but then transparent blades, and they're red transparent blades. But they've also got red LEDs. Um, and they, they do look the nuts. Uh, so yeah, we're using those. They weren't cheap. These fans are about £10 each. But what I do need to uh, draw attention to actually is all of this kit come from uh, the guys at Special Tech that I do a lot of work with. And what I want to do is say a big thank you to uh, Aide there, or Adrian, whatever you want to call him. Basically, uh, the uh, the couriers they use, and this doesn't happen very often, so don't get worried that this was just a one-off. But the couriers uh, sent my parcel to Birmingham by mistake, and it was out on a van yesterday in Birmingham, and they sent a courier over to where I am. Especially, they don't deliver on um, Saturdays normally. But they sent a van over to me specially because Special Tech um, phoned up and explained that this was for Gadget Show, and we were really short on time. So a big thank you to Special Tech for putting the, uh, you know, I mean, going that extra step. That's pretty much what you can expect with them, to be perfectly honest with you. So massive thank you to you guys. You really got me out of a hole here. But we'll look on to more of the kit now. I'm going to kneel down quickly. I chose this. It's an EK block, um, and it's the EK Supreme LT, uh, and it's the AMD specific one, which basically means it's got this. It's just an acrylic. Right, AMD specific acrylic top. Uh, and this does remind me of some blocks that are available a few years ago. I really like the look of this. And to go with that acrylic theme, acrylic theme, that nickel theme, cool blimey, get my dodgy self in there, but 
Yeah, this is the 6970 block, which is also nickel as well. Love the look of this thing. It's really nice. And the reservoir. This is a double um, five and a or double optical bay res, but actually it's only really the top. But if you have a look, you can see that there's room underneath for a um, DDC or a Lang DDC, and I've got a Lang DDC Ultra, which is the 18 watt model. So we've got a big old pump going in there. So yeah, that's that. And then we've got two of these rads. This is the XSP RS240. Now the reason why I've only gone with the RS is because um, this is the maximum uh, width that I can get in the top of the uh, 690. And I wanted to use both the same rads. But I'll, I'll speak to you more about this later on when we start to get the parts into the rigs. Uh, I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have to uh, rob um, some fan screws and stuff from the other radiator that I've got. So I think they only send for like one lot. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, start now, make a start, start working on the case. Um, we've already started stripping it actually, but I'll show you that in a second. Um, so yeah, we've got uh, quite a bit of work to do. I'm going to try and get this done in a day. Obviously I want to make sure everything's right and something else I need to mention, I'm just going to stop the camera and I'll come back in a sec. Right, I'm back. I was meant to do a video on these uh, weeks ago but obviously we had the 590 and the 6990 releases, it's just been manic. Basically these are the new Bits Power red fittings and they're red shiny fittings as you can see. Now not a lot of shops are carrying these at the moment, they're definitely not available in the UK yet. But I have got absolutely freaking loads of them. Um, and considering that we're doing an AMD rig, it would have been rude of me not to have used these fittings. Now these are just sex on a stick. They're awesome. Now I've got a, I have got compression fittings, but not, I'm not going to be using them. I'm going to be using half inch barbs with 716 hose. Then I've got a selection of the uh, 90 and 45 degree rotaries. You can see the camera in the, in the actual reflection, they're that shiny. I've got some extension pieces and blanking plugs and all kinds of stuff like that anyway. Um, but I just wanted to show you a selection there. These are going to be what we're going to be using in this rig. Just to give it that extra bit of bling. Now... I will explain that I wanted to use, if I was going to do, use these, I wanted to use them with uh, black coolant because then you have the fitting, the barb, uh, and then you'd see the black coolant so you get black and red. I'm, I'm getting a little bit worried that it might be too much black in the system. So I wouldn't normally use these with red coolant, just me personally, um, but I might do in this rig. But what we're going to do is we're going to put it all together and then literally see what it looks like I can see whether red needs to go in there or whether we can get away with black so it's going to be a decision we're going to leave till the last minute uh, but yeah that's just me being my usual bloody anal self but anyway yeah bits power uh, red fittings uber uber bling and oh, super super sexy right then guys I'm just going to stop quickly and just show you this We've got the rad in the bottom, we are going to be putting fans underneath, but one thing I would say, so anyone that's thinking about using the 692, maximum length for the power supply I would suggest is 160mm, this is 159 but literally once you get the radiator in and stuff, it's so, so tight, um, so yeah, any longer than 160 you really are going to struggle even if you've got it uh, non-modular and all your cables go straight out there oh crikey you are really going to struggle so yeah 160 mil length maximum for your power supply if you want to put a radiator in the bottom it's going to be a good note to remember if you're planning on using the 692 for uh, water cooling and you want a second rad in the bottom anyway I'm going to crack on right then guys We've uh, got the <coughs> excuse me. We've got the uh, radiators in. They're both in. 
show you the bottom one, we've got push pull in and I can show you how tight they are on the uh, radiator and the power supply so you can see what I mean about needing a 160mm power supply max uh, also where we've got push pull it was quite difficult with the fittings in the front fan I mean this literally is so close it's unbelievable I will only just be able to get the hoses on these so this is just insanely close if I'd used another extension to come out it would have been alright but this will keep all the hose loops all nice and tidy so I'm quite happy with that Obviously we've got the red blade fans in there. The door keeps banging behind me, but I was gonna show you around the front. I forgot I put the uh, um the fan is in. I've got the front on at the moment because I've been working out all the hosing and stuff and I've got a lot more room this time, so I've got the radiator around the other way. Now we've got the fans in the roof and there is enough room and the roof goes over the top, that's perfectly fine, so they're there. Now looking at the moment, if we have a look there. We've obviously got plenty of room for the motherboard, um, but I didn't know, literally until I start fitting stuff, whether I'm going to have room for push-pull on the top rad or not. Uh, I've ordered for just uh, push on the top rad, but I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. Um, I'm just a little bit worried that another fan will foul the RAM. Um, I'm gonna, literally, I'm going to give it a go um, once we've got the motherboard and everything in. But if I stand back a bit, that's your first look at it with the rads in. I can't really see the top one very much, but they are in there. Uh, and now it's time for me to start getting the uh, motherboard ready. So I need to put the water block on the board um, and then do the uh, graphics card. So, yeah, best for, time for me to get on with that. Right then, my lovelies, just a quick shot, literally almost like a build log via the video got the CPU block on I did purposely choose the AMD specific one with the extra acrylic and I'm glad I did now because I think it looks quite nice but those red fittings look the absolute and I'm going to swear now so if you're afraid if you're going to get offended turn off those fittings look the absolute fucking bollocks so glad I decided to use red fittings just have to see how much, uh, if we use red or black coolant now, but that looks the nuts. Right then, peeps. Uh, I've only got one studio light on because this is it, this is turning into like a video build log with lots of like two minute stages. But anyway, I was going to stop in and show you when I was hosing, but I just got so into it. Right, we'll do a slow walk around, right, and I'll explain because people always bloody moan. This has got a longer loop going into the res because obviously the res has still got to come in and out and it's still quite a tight turn so I've just gone with a bigger loop just to make my life a bit easier. There's still a 45 on that end and a 90 on this end. Uh, for the Basically what we've done is we've got the pump and the res in one so we've got out going straight into the radiator and then starting down the blocks. Um, so we go CPU, out the CPU, into the GPU, out the GPU and then back into RAD2. So it's RAD, res pump, RAD, blocks. But like I've always said to you guys, for the one or two degrees it, you know, difference, always make a tidy loop. Personally I'd sooner see a nicely thought out tidy loop than someone that wins by one or two degrees and then as you know what I mean radiators between every block because it really doesn't make a lot of difference I'm doing this for so long now it's just me personally I mean this hose here I would have had going tidy up round the back so that you could hardly see it obviously we're going to a show and people are going to want to see the water cooling so I've purposely left this hose exposed um, so yeah it's not kind of even the way I'd normally do it and this hose up here I would have um, had all clipped up as well but I'm just trying to find a balance between um, you know water cooling that you can see and water cooling that's anally tidy but the uh, you can't really see it in this light but this coolant is actually quite purple uh, it is phaser black um, but it does look quite purple especially once by the time the red LEDs are on and we've got the white um, display lights round. I think it's going to look quite purple so I might get a black dye bomb and chuck an extra load of black in there again just for the show so it looks a bit better 
Um, but yeah, we're basically, I've hosed it all up and now technically leak testing, just keeping an eye, having a look. And I don't think I, I really, this is like the second day of the build. I can't remember whether I've given you a walk around everything yet, but obviously we're using the uh, red bits power fittings pretty much everywhere. Now you can understand why I didn't use black hose, because now we've got red fitting, red barb, clear hose, black coolant, so you get that kind of red and black meat. Um, and it also shows off the red barbs a bit better, and I just, I wanted to show it off a little bit more, do you know what I mean? So, I'm really not a big fan of coloured hose. Sometimes I'll use white hose, because you can't get white coolant, but, yeah. I'm quite happy with the way this looks, to be perfectly honest with you. But, next stage of this video will be it all built, we'll have all the fans on, um, all the power in, so this is just a kind of middle stage. But so far, I'm personally really happy with it. What do you think Mr Strawberry? I really like it. Mr Strawberry likes it, it's got to be worth a thumbs up. Right. We've been this one off here, I'm going to carry on getting this done, and like I said, the next time you'll see it, it'll all be together, and uh, we'll be benching it. So, yeah, two seconds for you, quite a long time for me. Right then guys, quick light show for you, but just to let you know, the noise in the background is the rig, but basically what I've done is I've got all the fans running directly off of 12 volts, because, well... Basically, I wanted the lights to be as bright as possible. Obviously, for the rig, they'll all be stepped down a bit. But where I'm taking uh, photos with my camera, can't really see because it's dark. But anyway, where I'm taking photos with my camera, I wanted the lights to be as bright as possible. So ignore the fan noise. But there we go. Now you can see there's like lots of different colours blinging out all over the place. Now I've got the side panel on at the moment, I'll take it off but I'm going to give you a walk around the case to start off with. We'll start at the front. This dark patch is obviously the bay res with the cover on. Up onto the fans on the roof. You can see the light display out the back of the case and up the walls. Also, because of the fans underneath, we've got an underglow. Actually, thinking about putting this on a bit of black acrylic, but I'm going to take the, cam the side panel off with one hand. Whoa! Look at all that light! I'm going to tease you for a bit, though. Oh, oh, oh! No. Should I show now? Oh no! But now. Yeah, right, here we go. I'm going to come back. I'm trying to get this in a good spot in my room so you can have a complete look. Now, just to let you know, I've still got a bit of cable tied in to do around the back. Well, all of it, really. They're just clipped up there at the moment. Um, obviously, I've got to step the fans down as well. But this, I just wanted... It's Sunday today. And I just wanted to get to the light show point today so I could... I'd have it done and then Monday's for testing. Tuesday is the uh, white number one rig in the Silverstone. And then Wednesday is the last minute testing and shakedown and gaming on all the rigs before they go on Thursday morning. Now, let's have a good look in around the rigs. Obviously we've got push-pull on the bottom as you've seen before. I've got the white... Um, NZXT LEDs all the way around. In this rig, you can definitely tell they're white. Well, it does look a bit blue in there, but that's just the shadow. You've got to remember that. The LEDs are white, before people ask. Anyway, you've got the red LED fan at the front, as you've already seen. You've got two sets on that rad. Up at the top here, you can see there's not enough room for me to get another fan in above that ram. Just it would be so tight it's just not even worth bothering with but obviously we've got all the sexy red fittings and this light they're not looking too red but they're still fudging shiny 
and obviously we've got a lot of red coming from all the other bits. First glance at the water block, although it's not really the best light for it, we'll do that. I will do another daytime shot for you. Red fan there. The UK nickel block. I think people can start to understand why I chose this block now because it just catches that light just enough. Uh, obviously I've got the uh, LEDs hidden up around the back. I still need to kind of get these tidy and all the wires down the back as well. I'm not 100%, I'm not happy with the wires yet. I've got a lot of work to do. At least another hour or so on the cables. But, if I stand back again, obviously this video is going to be quite long but it's kind of a... Uh, well, it's just like an ongoing build log really. I might have to break it up into two bits. But that is it. Um, probably spent a day and a half on this from start to finish. It's now ready to go. Everything's on there. All I've got to do is test it um, and then overclock it. Uh, and I'll tell you more about all the details and stuff with that later on. So yeah. In fact, I think I am going to split the videos up into two. We'll do a gaming and a uh, benchmarking and everything, and I'll talk about this one in a bit. So this one's more of a build log, but I've got to say it, guys. I really like this. Uh, my first rig was red and white. Uh, it was actually called Heaven and Hell. That was pretty much my first proper rig. And, um, well, I think this has given me the bug for those colours back again. The, the black, red, and white, I think, looks really good in this. But anyway. That's enough from me. This is Tiny Tom Logan <laughs> with another dose of nerd porn, I suppose you would say. Oh, wait, oh, I'm just going to stand here and let you look at it for a bit longer because even I'm loving it. Out.